So, um, I watched this movie. It was like 30 minutes. I found it randomly online. It's called, uh, Al Habil. Yeah, I'm not sure on the actual pronunciation, but it translates to the rope in English. It's from 1984. Uh, director, some dude called Ibrahim Shaddad. And, um, it's a Sudanese film. Made in Sudan, obviously. And it kind of, uh, it centers around the Turco-Egyptian invasion of Sudan in the early 1800s. And, uh, this movie has no dialogue. It has sound, but it has no dialogue. And it's basically about these two blind guys that are living in a cave. And it's kind of artsy, so... You know, my interpretation might not always be the correct one, but what I gather is that, um... They're kind of in a cave with a donkey. And the reason why it's called a rope is because they're tied to a rope, like the two men are with the donkey. And the donkey kind of leads them around. And they're totally blind, so they need a donkey to lead them around to, like, help find shit. And it seemed as though... Like, like if you don't know, when the Turco-Egyptian invasion happened in Sudan, there was a lot of slaughtering of the Sudanese people. And, you know, it, like, the movie doesn't show a lot of that, but it showed a little bit of people fighting and stuff. <clears throat> and it kind of seems like after it was over, these two dudes just kind of stumble out of the cave. Because that's probably how they survived. They probably were led by the donkey to do commerce, maybe get water, maybe get food. But the 30-minute film... It's just them kind of stumbling around and not finding anything. And the donkey is sort of leading them. And they're not really getting anywhere. Like, it seems like, like I said, my perspective of it is that they expected to run into someone at some point. But there's no one there. And... Oh, I just gotta say, too, the score for this movie was awesome. It had these, like, uh, like, percussion interludes where it would, like, randomly show some, like, birds in the sky. I couldn't tell exactly what they were. I think it was vultures. I think maybe that was supposed to, like, signify the invasion or something. Like, f vultures just feeding off the land. And it, it worked. It worked very well. But... I'm going to spoil it. Not that there's much to spoil, but I mean, it, it. it's a good watch anyway. I'll probably put the link in the description. But, uh, yeah, so you have this, you kind of, they kind of show like a Turco-Egyptian leader type of guy. And, uh, you know, it, like, it, like to me, it kind of indicated that he's just kind of, like, ruling over the land while these two dudes are just stumbling around, just trying to survive. So, they get nowhere, they accomplish nothing, they get back to the cave, because that's what donkeys and horses do. They kind of will just go back to home base, you know? And they, they, once they realize they're back at the cave, because they can, like, feel around and sort of tell, okay, this is back to the same area they kind of realize we're screwed. Like, we, we ran into nothing, we found nothing, we accomplished nothing, and we don't know what's going on. Like, everything's gone. And so then what they do is they take an axe, and in the very last scene, they cut the rope. And I think... They didn't show it running off, but I think that was to signify that the donkey should just go do its own thing because they were done for and might as well let the donkey go have a go at it. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was a super depressing movie. <laughs> I mean, it's like one of those movies where you watch it and you just, you're like, cool, life is horrifying and awful. And I don't know, I kind of revel in movies like that, but yeah, I don't know. It was just a really interesting flick. 
And I'm happy I watched it because the way it was shot and then and the score of it, it was really well done. And it sounds boring. It sounds like something where you're like, oh my god, some foreign film with no dialogue. That sounds horrible, right? But it's not. And, and it's like, it was really smart in the sense that it didn't last an hour and a half. They didn't like try to make this into a feature film. They were just like, we have this idea. We're going to accomplish it. Um, yeah. And I, I think they super did. And also the beginning scene is kind of horrifying. Like, uh, yeah, there's like this opening scene that, um, it, it's, I don't know. It's not like, there's no special effects really in it. It's just kind of super disturbing because of what happens. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just thought I should mention it. But, yeah, I mean, it was a cool flick. See you, man.